In this tutorial, we'll take a look at a really important light setup for those of you who are, say, illuminating a character with uh, eyes, and you want to make sure you have the reflection of a light in the eyes of your character, because if, for those of you who haven't taken photography or just haven't been aware of it, if you look closely at a lot of those photographs that professional photographers take, you can actually see the reflection of their you know, it's usually a square soft box sometimes in the scene if it's taken at a studio and you'll actually see this big white reflection is a, is a little tiny square in there in the eyeballs of those persons. Well those really those type of reflections really help make the eye pop out. So in here what I have is a couple setups and what we're going to look at is the distinction between using the spots that are built into Blender cycles now. They came from Blender Render, but you can use them within cycles versus just using a regular light, and we'll see how it changes. So, this object here is reflecting light like glass, like you know, an eyeball would reflect light, how you would see it. It's basically bouncing, like it's like a mirror. And what I'm looking at here, I'm looking into that mirror, and this it's at a 45 degree angle, and, it's, and the mirror is looking back into this tube and within that tube is just a that same square you can see it in there as I rotate it around see the, you get the effect and then when you look back over here at the sphere you can see the effect of the light hitting the sphere from bouncing off the mirror into the scene all right so that works that and that's just using a regular plane and it's got a an emission shader set to it like that so it's emitting a little bit of light like this okay so now let's look at it in wireframe mode also at the same time now over here in the same scene I also have a spot so let me move this one let me move this one back behind it and turn it off like this and then we'll get take a look at the spot now the interesting thing about the spot is that you can now control the size of the spot within here this is as of version 2.65 okay and you can control how much it blends in to the scene so let me see so let's say I get this and move let me move this up out of the way real quick here and let me see if I have another object in the scene over there somewhere uh, no but we'll I'll just fix that I'll just add a cube real quick. All right, now you can see in here, you can see the spotlight hitting it right there like that, okay? So we know the spotlight is working and if we come in here and grab the spot, we can see the, let me just move this over just a little bit. So then you can see the cone, it does actually work if it gets past it, it shines past it. So it has some nice effects. Like I said, you can change this blending so it's either a really sharp or smooth blend. Um, let me see, I'm calculating it up to 50, but it'll blend smooth or if you go out here, it'll, it'll either go sharp or smooth. There it is coming out. So it gives you a nice effect in that sense. But now, however, just let's put this other object back in the scene here this is going to make you'll see where I'm heading here in a second all right and then let me go grab this whoops and move it down into the scene again all right and now notice you see the spot you see the spot the effect of the spot on the scene like this but let's turn this sideways from here it's like this other view and come over here but I don't see the spot itself all right so let me turn that spot down let me change that angle and verify that so let's get down to a really small angle like the other one was and there it is so now I'm even though the, the light even though the spotlight is pointing at this mirrored surface I don't see it reflected in the mirrored surface. So if you set up your scene, a uh, photography scene of some sort, and you're using these type of spotlights and you're expecting to get reflections off of mirrored glass surfaces, it looks like it's not designed to do that. So in that case, 
what you want to do is you want to go grab this light and I'll verify it. Let's put this light back on. I'll turn this one back on. Uh, this one doesn't have to be, the regular emission lights don't have to be so high. Well, there it is right there. You can see it. And I'll just move this one back behind it out of the way. And I'll turn it off like that. So now we see the effects of that light reflecting off of there in the scene. And there it is pointing here. And then you come back over here. So this is... Okay, so it's um, maybe a minor detail. Oh, well, no, not really. Not for me, I assure you. So if you're lighting certain scenes and you need those reflections because those reflections make all the difference in the world, then this lesson becomes really important. Okay, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.